Hi guys, Rob Ring here. Hope you're doing very well. Uh, today I'd like to share with you my favourite death threat. Because um, <laughs> I do see a death threat as one more person you don't have to worry about. Because I don't think someone who will kill you, murder you, face time, life in prison is, is going to tell you beforehand what you... <laughs> it's kind of like It's kind of like planning to rob a bank and sending them a letter few weeks beforehand or the night you know the night before um detailing exactly what uh what you intend to do um anyway so it was on reddit uh and reddit has a smaller sub communities called subreddits and i posted um it's quite surprising which videos uh stirred these emotions in in someone but it was a it, <laughs> it was a, a depression tips five five tips for, for depression you know um and Quite benign, especially by my standards, because I, I just say exactly what I think, and, and I think offence is taken, not given, and people take it the wrong way sometimes. Anyway, she said, that came after me, you know, I, on, the, on the thing, but who are you to talk about, um, talk about this, you you don't know what you're talking about, you blah, blah, blah. And I, and I was saying, and she's anonymous, like like all these people are, and... and <laughs> um, I basically said I was I was saying as well as the tips for depression, like exercise, eating right, hobbies, yoga, meditation, family, f friends. Um, I was saying we all, including myself, need to grow some balls. And she replied saying, "How dare you tell a woman to grow some balls?" And I didn't know she was a woman. Um, and I yeah, she, and I thought, okay, this is probably quite a prickly character. And then she went, just kept going on and on. Um, she was like, you're a disgrace, uh, direct quote, you're a disgrace to the mental health community. So that would be everyone uh, in the, on Planet Guys. So I'm very sorry about that. Very sorry about that. <laughs> this is why ident identity politics is always bad. Um, and she said, I don't know anything about depression. And that no one who watched the video and liked it knows anything about depression. And that I better watch my back. Um, and that was sort of the gist of it, um, which is why I don't read Reddit comments because even laughable as it is in, especially in retrospect, but it's not nice to read it at the time. Um, I don't want to allow, uh, that kind of toxicity in to my domain of consciousness, you know? Uh, that's why I very rarely read the Facebook news feed. Very rarely watch the news. <laughs> BBC, CNN, Fox. I, I don't trust them. Uh, how many incidents is it going to take? And how many scandals is it going to take? Um, anyway, leave the BBC alone. I just thought I'd share with you my favourite death threat. And as I say, if you ever get one... Uh, Unless it's maybe from the Ayatollah Khomeini issuing a death fatwa against Salman Rushdie, the author. That's quite... And then everyone sees it on the planet. That's quite serious. But, um, you know, some a very unhappy person on the other end of a computer saying mean things about you to you. They'd, they've never met you. Um, if they were happy, they wouldn't be saying it. If they were satisfied, they had enough meaning keep them stable they wouldn't be they wouldn't be saying it philosophy on death threats have a great day guys stay strong and disciplined and kind bye bye